Prime here doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Marvel Legends House of X Powers of 10 Tri Sentinel Build a Figure Waves Moyer McTaggart. If you're trying to get your Marvel Legends, you can do so at Big, Big, Big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. I ask you to show your support by hitting that like button, and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And this is looking very impressive already. Very excited for this one. And you get the X logo with the X-Men written right there, all spot varnished. You get some Krakoan right here at the bottom, spot varnished on this side. You can see a nice image of Moyer McTaggart. And then you get that same image on the back. There's a read-up over here. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it right now. There's the other figures from the wave. And then you get that image of Moyer right over there, inverted. And then on the top, you get that spot varnished X logo. Not much more at the bottom. So let's get to it and crack this thing open. <laughs> and here's Moyer McTaggart out of the packaging and we'll talk about the things that I do like about this figure as well as the things that I don't like but first let's get a closer look at the accessories so aside from the build a figure piece and the two head sculpts these are all the other accessories that we get with Moira and we get two interchangeable arms here and then two sets of hands so you get the fisted hands you have an item holding hand and a wide open hand and then you have the removable lab coat right over here and then you get this book and it's the same midtown high school book that we'd seen with the gwen stacy figure of course you know we get adams right here and an x in the middle right there so that's pretty cool i do like that deco so yeah not a bad looking accessory at all uh, you get a scarf right over here for her more contemporary look uh, you get these arms which we'll put on in just a moment but I love, I love that we get interchangeable arms with this. I think this is a very, very cool feature. This is like really uh, something that I think is very awesome. And then you get uh, the lab coat right here, which I love. This is so dope looking. So yeah, you get two blue pens, one black pen right over there. And I just love the way it's sculpted. I like how you get this soft pliable material for it and everything. So that is cool. I mean, you can see all, all you have to do is just, you know, put this on right over there and then you plug the arms in uh which by the way is tricky removing them just so you can see you know without heating anything up just putting them on and off it works and i'm glad that they're as tricky as they are to remove and get on and off because you don't want them popping off easily or anything you can hear just stuff falling all over the place but hey man i'm glad it works out well but hey i would much rather have it be more tricky to pull them off than it being super easy <laughs> So while she doesn't have her doctor's coat on, you know, this is the doctor head sculpt. And I love that, you know, we can have our older, more classic Moyer McTaggart version right over here, which I really like a lot. But you could also have your House of X version, uh, which is cool looking, but and just... You know, from reading that storyline, I'm just kind of confused as far as, like, what, she just dies and then comes back and everything is reset. I think that's kind of how it works. Because just recently she's gotten mutant powers, reincarnation powers. I don't know. Someone explain it to me a little bit better in the comment section. But, yeah, she could just, like, retry by dying and coming back and somehow finding her place where she left off, uh, which is in a park meeting uh, Charles. So, anyway, looking at this doctor head sculpt, though, I really like, I mean, either way... She She's a doctor, right? But I just love this. The glasses. I like how there's a little bit of milkiness to the plastic right there. And you can see her eyes looking off to the left just a little bit. The paint for the mouth looks very clean. I really like it. It looks very pretty. Uh, with her having the burgundy on right here with the glasses, it kind of reminds me of Janine from Ghostbusters a little bit, right? Definitely could be like a movie Janine or an updated movie Janine, right? But yeah, looking at the hair right there, I really like that sculpt and everything. Looks absolutely stunning. Just really like this a lot. This is probably the way I'm going to have her displayed uh, on the shelf, except with the coat on and everything, you know what I mean? But to get your House of X version, it's got to put on this handkerchief and this new head sculpt right here, and I think this is awesome as well. I like how pretty it looks. There is a little bit of a misfire here with the smile, though. Like, she's smiling, but it looks like the sculpt isn't smiling. You can see right there that the way those edges on her mouth look, maybe the lips are upside down or something. I don't know, but yeah, the 
paint and the sculpt are not matching right there. The eyes look really good though, right? Even though it looks like she kind of just had an edible or something. I don't know, but the hair looks really good on this side and I like how the hat looks and everything. So that is dope. I like that and it's soft right here so you don't have to worry about that breaking. And then this whole scarf and everything looks nice. And it's the Gwen Stacy body mold that we saw from the Spider-Man Vintage Collection right here. So all the same parts and everything, which is fantastic. I love the sculpted detail that you can see through the fabric. And then you get these beautiful legs right over here. Nice slit on the side so you can move it around. So that's really cool. I do like that they went with the softer material. And then, yeah, I like the legs that are sculpted right here. It looks really nice. I like that a lot. And we get the new shoes, which they also used for Marvel Girl, which I wish they didn't do. But it looks great right here on the Moira McTaggart. Yeah, there's the peg holes at the bottom of the feet. Oh, and they put the serial number on the inside of the thigh over here. Cochinos! Making us look on the inside of the leg on the female figure. Anyway, you can't move the head up that far, even with all that hair over there. And you can move the head downward, and they'll shift forward and back like a pile driver. You can see the length of the hair is about the same. So you get the same range of motion. Of course, you can turn side to side, a little, little bit of head tilting. Shoulders will move outward, down, rotate a full 360. You get a single jointed elbow, rotates at the elbow. Uh, same deal with the doctor's coat version arms right over there. And then all the wrists turn side to side and hinge up and down. Of course, you can interchange the wrist between the arms. You get the diaphragm joint, diaphragm pivot, crunches forward a tiny bit, crunches back that much and you can rotate side to side of course uh, you can get this right leg just moving outward that far but the left leg will only move away that much she'll kick forward that much with this side wow it's nice and then but only that far with this side and move back only a little bit on both sides right there and then you get an upper thigh cut double jointed knees and then the ankles do move down up and she has a beautiful ankle pivot that kind of does move at a weird angle it's like a little bit more on the side to side range than that full ankle pivot so she's a little tricky to stand it's it could be frustrating now to measure out this moira figure you can see that she is standing right at about the six inch mark and then for a quick size comparison here's our deluxe professor x next to the moira mctaggart right over here and then here's moira mctaggart next to the Gwen Stacy from the Spider-Man Vintage Collection wave and yeah you can see a lot of reused parts over here of course though that they do have the different jackets and everything and I wanted to try some head swaps over here uh, not a whole ton just a couple of head swaps really quick I just really wanted to see how Gwen Stacy would look with this outfit right here it looks okay I guess I don't know, a little bit weird. Here's the Moira head on the Gwen Stacy body. Then here's the other Moira head on the MJ body. And then here we have MJ on the Moira body. Wow, that's a lot of red on red right there. I kind of like it though. And then of course I had to show off the Moira McTaggart figure next to Banshee. Oh man, I hope we get a new Banshee from Hasbro sooner than later. But hey, just a little fun fact. Did you know that your boy Shardimus Prime is part Scottish? Yep, my last name goes all the way back to Scotland. And then here's Moira McTaggart next to the other figures from the wave that I've ordered reviewed we have wolverine cyclops marvel girl professor x magneto and omega sentinel stay tuned for the tri sentinel review tomorrow as well as a live stream with robo from the foosh tomorrow afternoon stay tuned and then here's moira mctaggart next to your average six inch scale figure we have the marvel legends big time badass spider-man Oh my gosh, you have reincarnation powers? Me too! I die like every day and I always come back. Watch! <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please show some love to the channel by hitting that like button and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And a big extra thank you to all these people showing their extra love to the channel and helping make these videos come through via the Tron and membership. If you are interested in joining, check it out. Link below or click that join button. This figure is a lot of fun. I really like having the interchangeable parts. I do feel like it's two figures in one. I like having the two different modes over here. Again, I like to call them modes. And it's a very attractive looking figure. You know what I mean? I like it a lot. It looks really good. The posability, the way those ankles work, you know, the ankle pivot on it is a bit weird and she is tricky to stand, you know, with the skirt. It does hinder articulation a little bit, not nearly as bad as the Marvel girl or anything. It's just, it's still tricky to pose around. Uh, you need a bit of force ripping those arms out of the sockets and everything, swapping them. That's not really a complaint though. It's, I'm trying to think of things that are bad about the figure because I honestly really do like it. I want to be objective over here and it's a repainted figure with new added stuff to it with a new feature so I really like it a lot and I gotta say at the price point around 20 to 25 bucks I'm gonna give this Moira McTaggart figure a sun rating of it's not so bad <laughs>
two, two, please. Yes, I want two. I want to have one with the doctor's coat on with my Professor X, and then I want to have a House of X set up where she has this look right over here with my House of X figures. So I'm curious to know what you guys think. Please let me know in the comment section below. If you want to see the latest Marvel news and a photo gallery of images, you can find it all over at marvelousnews.com. And if you want to stay in touch with me via social media, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch. And I will catch you guys later. Peace. Hey, new short Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.